Hi, my name is John Drew with Melco International. Thanks for watching another Digital Monday here. In this episode, we're standing in front of the SG300. Uh, this is the predecessor to the SG2300. Um, it's basically the same machine, uh, uh, kind of physically. Uh, there's some obviously some big differences on the SG2 and the SG, but we're not going to get into that. What we're going to show you today is how to clean this thing. A lot of times when you're printing on your media, you'll see that there's some banding or some striping of some ink that is kind of built up in certain areas. Um, I'm going to show you how to clean your print head and avoid that so you get nice, clean, crisp prints every time. So why don't you come on over here and let me show you how this is done. So open up your cover here and it exposes your control panel. Go into function and you're going to hit the cleaning function. From here, we can test print, see how things are looking, but we already know that we need to clean. So we're going to go from not doing a normal head cleaning. This is an automatic cleaning. We're going to make it a manual cleaning. So we're going to manual cleaning here and hitting enter. From here, you'll see that on the cover, on the prompts, it tells you where to go, what to do next. So we're going to open the cover left. So I open the cover, look back at the, at the, at the uh, screen, and it says remove cut rail. So I'm going to do that now. The cut rail is removed by, by removing this screw here, sliding the rail out completely. I usually just put it on the ground. Now we've got the cut rail removed. Let's see what the screen says. So we've done it, so we'll hit enter. Now it's going to say close cover left. We can do that. Easy. Now let's look at the screen again. It's processing, it's taking a minute. What it's trying to, what it's doing here is it's gonna open up the area um, back here where the head capping station is. We're gonna be able to clean that easily. And then we're gonna be able to come over and clean directly under the print head. So it's brought the print head over to this left side. Now it says open cover left again. So we opened our cover. Um, and then from here, now that our cover is open and exposed, we wanna take our cleaning kit. So this cleaning solution comes with your printer. Um, these tweezers, you can get anywhere. These are plastic tweezers, are really helpful. A little measuring cup, you don't need to measure anything, but it's just a good way to put cleaning solution in there, keep it clean. I keep a paper towel handy, and then of course a little swab that comes with your printer. So let me show you how this is done. Put a little bit of cleaning solution in the cup. Not much, because actually I just cleaned this not long ago, and it's still pretty clean under here, but I wanted to kind of show you how this is done because we were running to some stuff internally where there was some banding and people were wondering. So I thought this was a good opportunity to show. So if you could just bring that camera down here, I wonder if you can bring it right underneath and kind of see those print heads. On the SG version, we have two print heads, CMYK, CM, and then YK on the other side. On the VG, you have four, and you can see that there's open slots for the VG. So notice in here, if you, if, you, um, if you've printed for a while and you haven't cleaned this, you're going to notice that there's a considerable amount of buildup really around the edges. And you can notice right away, even after a relatively recent cleaning, that they're starting to build up a little bit of ink here. So really around this print head is where we want to go. We want to clean the sides. We want to clean all the little areas. What we don't want to clean is that part right in the middle. That's the print head itself where the nozzles are. We don't want to touch those because that could potentially clog the print head. So basically we take this solution, we let it break it down. It breaks it down really, really well, it breaks down the ink. What these tweezers are for is getting these little extra pieces along the sides and getting them all cleaned out. So you're gonna find that little tweezers or a little piece of plastic, something you can get in there to start breaking up the, the ink buildup is gonna be the way to go. So really very simple. Again, this print head's already clean, but you want it to look at least that clean when you're done. So break that thing down, give it the best cleaning you can. We're gonna, from here, take our cleaning solution, it's asked us to open cover right, so we're going to do that. And now it's asked if we're finished. And the reason we're not finished quite yet is because we need to clean in here too. So come on in here and let me show you if I can see if we can see these other parts. So this is the capping station, these two spots right here. Again, on the SG there's two, on the VG there's four. This needs to be cleaned as well. This is a pretty easy clean. I'm gonna stick my hand in here and give it the best I can, but tweezers come in handy too, especially around the edges. You wanna clean this thing up really nice. You can see right away that ink starts to build up on the cloth, um, on the scrubber. Just clean it off, remove that build up, and get it clean, get a nice clean swab in there, start cleaning again. 
So these look pretty clean, like I said, uh, but this is about as, as good as you, uh, it's about as bad as you'd want it, frankly. I mean, you can, if you can get any better than that, that's good, but that's nice and clean head cap. From there, you're gonna notice right away that your prints are much more clean um, and there's far less dragging. So we'll hit enter. We're gonna close cover right. It'll then tell us, so we close cover right. Now it's gonna tell us to close cover, the cover left. One thing we haven't done is remove the, uh, reinstall the cut rail, but it'll tell us to do that here in a second. It's gonna send the print head back. It's gonna do a little cleaning on the capping station there. Cause we just put the print, we put it through like a little bit of a, a little bit of a stress by cleaning around it. And we potentially maybe have touched it a little bit. So as soon as we're done, um, it's gonna go back and start cleaning. So it can build up, break up any buildup that may have built up on the print head. So trick, this is not tricky at all. But if you if you set this thing the cut rail back incorrectly, it won't do a, a it won't cut properly. So we want to make sure that it's sitting in there perfect. The screw should uh, thread right in, no problem. We're gonna close cover left. We replace the cut rail, so we hit enter, and now it's gonna do its cleaning. So with that, thanks for watching. This is the SG three hundred. This is an easy easy to clean machine. Um, Enjoy that video. If you guys have any questions, give us a call here at Melco. We'll be happy to help.